The Random Moment Time Study. What is it, and why does it matter? Your school district participates in the Random Moment Time Study, or RMTS, as part of the School Health Services Program. This program provides additional funding for health services for all students. The time study measures the amount of time, statewide in Colorado, spent delivering health-related services to students with IEPs. By completing this survey, you're helping to bring in more money, more resources for kids. The RMTS survey is assigned randomly, which means you may be surveyed multiple times or not at all. You will receive a notification email one week in advance of your moment. Do not modify your activities in advance of an assigned moment. Be accurate and clear in your response and include any health-related, IEP, or educational details relevant to the situation. You will have a limited amount of time to respond to five questions. It is very important to respond briefly, but with enough detail to fully explain the activity you were performing during the moment. The survey contains two open-ended questions, asking you to describe, in a detailed manner, what you were doing during this moment in time, and if you were providing direct services to a student. The intent of this video is to show some examples of health-related services in the school environment. Some situations may present characteristics of both health and educational services. We understand that it can be difficult at times to see all aspects of health-related direct services, and we hope to provide examples that show how certain services that may be educational might also have health-related aspects. In this activity, the student uses his hands and art supplies while working with Play-Doh. A service provider assists the student with the activity, which may include hand-over-hand -hand assistance due to the student's disability. Some students may also require safety monitoring as a health-related service, as indicated on their IEP. In this scene, two service providers are helping a student get from her wheelchair to a changing table. They are assisting the student with mobility and positioning by transferring her into the Hoyer lift to then be moved onto a changing table. Once on the changing table, they then provide another health-related service by assisting the student with diapering. Some students may also require safety monitoring during the activity, which is a health-related service as required by their IEP. As the school bus arrives, the students are helped down the steps and escorted to their classrooms. Some students may require safety monitoring or mobility assistance, a health-related service as indicated on their IEP. In this activity, the students are participating in a group lesson. The teacher guides the students during the lesson, while a paraprofessional provides assistance. Some students may require safety monitoring, a health-related service, as indicated on their IEP. In this scene, a nurse and an aide meet regarding a student. The details of the meeting may include the nurse instructing the aide on delegated services for a student, reviewing specific details of a student's IEP or health plan, or discussing universal precaution plans. This health-related meeting may be required due to a student's IEP, or could be a routine health activity. Your involvement in the RMTS is vital to ensuring resources continue to be available for students. Health services in schools are essential because healthy children do better in the classroom. Okay. We're passionate about helping children learn, be more successful, to have all the same chances in life as everybody else. When you see the difference it makes for kids, you know, you just want to help school districts do better and better because you know it's how important it is to the most important people, and that's the children. Under the School Health Service Program, school districts have expanded and enhanced health services, including increasing the number of school nurses. The nurse to student ratio has improved. Students now have greater access to a school nurse to help manage chronic and acute health conditions, emergency medication vouchers and outreach services. Uninsured students are able to receive a one month supply of medication. Additionally, an outreach team follows up with the family to help them apply for health insurance. Hearing and vision screening equipment Early childhood screening ensures that any deficits are identified and addressed early on, which reduces the impact on a student's ability to learn. Thank you. You make a difference and help to ensure children in Colorado have the health services they need 
to be successful in school and life.